Hi team, how is everyone doing? I hope you are doing all well, and if that is not the case, I am hoping that it is on the trajectory to improve. My thoughts and prayers and positive vibes to all of you, and to all of me too, and to everyone in the universe. Um, in front of us are a couple of pop and swap fan modes. Man, I've been going wild with this since Module Toys introduced it to me, and then Timbo started getting involved, and yo, know, Timbo stuff is pretty cool with the Ultra Magnus and the uh, G-Haxis stuff that he's been doing. But yeah, I, I messed around with uh, the Soundwave Brothers, and this is what I was able to produce Produce. And since they're just kind of pop and swapped and somewhat of a simplified fan mode, I decided, you know what, let's just do kind of both of them in the same video. So let's talk about Soundwave first. So in order to, um, I don't know, have him be both Optimus Prime and Soundwave. Oh, and this is the Earthrise Prime head, by the way. It is not a perfect fit. By the way, is this, is it dark right now? I can't really tell. I think it's okay, right? Should I miss the lighting? No, I think it's okay. Um, I wanted to. I wanted this to definitely feel like both Optimus Prime and Soundwave, and so the body, of course, is Soundwave. The head is Prime, um, but I wanted to do a mixture of a different accessory. So we can see this is from the Optimus trailer. Um, this is also Optimus's pew pew. Uh, the wheels are on loan from Ironhide. You can just um, gently pop those off from the Siege version. Um, and these, these little smokestacks, those are from the Construct bots. Isn't that neat? Isn't that really, really cool? I, I figured it'd be nice. Originally, I, was put, I wanted to put them on the shoulders, but I thought they protruded a little too much. And so, um, yeah, I put them on the back. And I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. As far as the head swap goes, you know, you can just pop the head off, but be very careful because, you know, these toys are not meant to do pop and swap head swaps and things like that. And so uh, just be careful when you pop them off. Some of them are really tight. And if you are having difficulty popping them off, try twisting the head. Sometimes it works easier popping it off with the face forward, and sometimes it works better with the face um, backward. Yeah, so just letting you know, okay? And again, exercise caution with your toys. I cannot be held responsible if you break something, all right? All right, all left. Okay, cool. So yeah, like I said, Soundwave, easy, right? Um, feels like Soundwave, looks like Prime. I think it's a good mixture. Almost reminds me a little bit of the TFW um, mascot, Boombox. You guys know that? Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? Uh, some like KOs, they they were bootlegging a bunch of like assets to to make the packaging for their KOs, and they bootlegged Boombox. They bootlegged the um, the logo of TFW. That's hilarious. Yeah, I think that's hilarious. Um, certainly, this being Soundwave, we wanted to give him a minion, right, dude? I think it's I think it's dark, man. But what can I do, dude? But whatever, dude. Um, this is a roller, and on top of him we have oops. On top of him we have a rumble or frenzy depending on which camp you're in and then on his feet uh and this is not the new one this is not the core one this is the old one uh but but it works best with this and on his feet we have the pile drivers from the masterpiece edition you know and now he's kind of like minion-y he's still kind of like rumble almost like this kind of shattered glass and glass give me yeah, shattered glass motif alternate universe alternate timeline but still got the shakes the shakes on him you know so i think that's really really cool and so yeah that's a little the that's a that's that's the little minion for Soundwave. And the roller is from the Centurion drone pack from uh, many, many, many moons ago. Okay, let's put that to the side. Uh, oh, in terms of how it connects, dude, believe it or not, the space, the cavity that the pile drivers have, dude, they just fit inside the legs. They're a perfect fit. They're a perfect fit. So, I don't know. I don't know, Your Honor. I don't know. Um, this over here, this is Sound Breaker. Obviously, this is Trailbreaker mixed with the Sound Blaster body. And man, this one was inspired by the mighty Makotron. Yo, Homie is my favorite artist. I think he's so, so creative. I love his line work. And actually, on his IG, I saw him put up a picture of Trailbreaker, Trail, Trail Baker, Trailbreaker mixed, um, you know, hybridized with, uh, with um, Sound Blaster. And I was like, dude, that's so genius. I can see the colors. It, it matches up. And so gently, I took the Trailbreaker head off and I did the whole pop and swap thing. And, you know, this one, the head is a little bit loose. And I don't know if you could see it, but I jammed some pieces of paper underneath the neck. I think you can kind of see it uh, to get the fit tighter. I should have put some more in there because it's not as tight as I would like, like to have it. But still, I think it's nice. This is the canopy, the back. Um, you can remove it from Trail Baker, Trail Baker, Trail Breaker, and you can add it to his shoulder. I think that's rad. I think that's so cool as a shoulder armor gimmick. Um, this protrudes a little too much for my taste, but um, I don't know. It's, it's not hateful. This is the Trail Trail. 
This is Breaker's handpiece, and um, I've just plugged it in. It doesn't go all the way down into the fist, so I've just plugged it into the top, and that's fine. And this, the radar dish, that is from the Centurion drone set. So yeah, a scent drone coming in twice over here, once with roller, and then with the little radar dish. And so it worked out kind of perfectly. Yeah, really, really nice. And the fact that um, I was able to use this, because Sound Blaster is from the Siege mold, and this over here is the Walmart um, mold, the Earthrise one. Um, I know a lot of folks missed out on this, but hey, I have heard from some um, credible sources that this dude in this mold is going to be re-released in a couple of years. But the Walmart license has not expired, and therefore they cannot they cannot release it now. But um, stay tuned; it eventually will be re-released in um, different packaging or something like that. Uh, but that's it. That's it. Pop and swap been going crazy. Um, where's the other? Oh, you want to see the other one? Hold on for a second. Give me one second. I'm not sure if this one's been shared to the channel yet, but, uh, this one was developed by Timbo. He did some work with G-Haxis and Ultra Magnus. Dude, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And, uh, yeah, this is Ultra Jaxis. Ultra Jaxis, Ultra G-Haxis, all up in your axis. I don't know. <laughs> and he's obviously wearing some bits from Galaxy Prime, uh, Shattered Glass uh, uh, Magnus, and uh, arms from two sets of uh, Aragon or Red Cog, however you see fit. But this one is from Aragon. And um, yeah, he's nice. He's nice. Even like his yellow face with the yellow bits on the waist. I think it's cool. The red seemed to match up. And um, I don't know. If no one told me, I probably would think this is a cohesive character, you know. But anyway. Just having fun with our toy. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let us break bread. I was trying to figure out a cool way to say this, but I was fumbling with my words. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let us break bread again another time, okay? Salutations and be at peace. Bye-bye.